What's going on great people? It's 18 here and today you will do uh, the first video of uh, the Toa Hardest stages of this tree set. Uh, before we start, I just wanted uh, to tell everyone that the giveaway of 1k subscribers is still uh, up, okay? And uh, it will be ending in 2 or 3 days, I guess. So feel free to go and uh, apply to the giveaway. And uh, I wish everyone uh, good luck uh, to win in the giveaway, okay? So, in this uh, video, we will start by doing uh, stage 50. So, uh, for stage 50, I will be using Barretta, Bella, Amon, and uh, let's go with uh, Vermos and Shannon. Yeah, let's go, let's go with Shannon. Because, uh, like, I, I know not all of you might have bombers. Like, I wanted to use a bomber here, but uh, not everyone is having a bomber, so we will try this way. Uh, normally, here, your uh, Barretta should be tanking everything, so you shouldn't worry about it at all. And if the damage on your Barretta is too much, just uh, buff the shield buff from Shannon, and you should be okay. But normally, as you see, you get already stuns and everything, so it should survive without a problem, okay? And the uh, Amon will be taunting some, like, let's uh, taunt this guy with Amon, and we buff. Okay, cool. This way we can kill this guy. And let's armor debuff another one, because I know the left one will still have the armor debuff for one turn after he moves. So I can, he's already dead, and if in, uh, even if he wasn't close to death, he would still have uh, the armor break as you see, and I would be able to kill him. And now, um, I'm not sure if the right guy, I don't think he's dead, yeah, but uh, it's not worth to waste the dot from Vermos on him. But for sure, as I'm saying, if the damage on your Beretta is too much, so you, it would be better if you kill the guy directly. Okay? Uh, here it doesn't matter which ones you go uh, on first because like both of them doesn't hit so hard and like you you don't have a weak elemental advantage against uh, sorry weak uh, uh, elemental uh, against them so um, like I will go for one wind and now we are I'm going for the light because. The light ones, they like I don't know if they cleanse or not, but I am sure that they uh, heal a bit, and I don't want to waste time healing. So, as you see, they don't hit so hard, they just have those debuffs, and normally our uh, Vermos here should be cleansing it. If you don't have Vermos for this stage, just use uh, Konamiya, okay? He will be working so good also. And on the boss stage, she will still be giving uh, Barretta or Amon some turns to uh, taunt the, the boss, not to make his search skill, because mainly the problem is the search skill, okay? And here we will go straight for the boss. We will slow him down, because when he moves, I don't want him to recover faster. This way I gain more turns to, uh, like, more chances to taunt him. Oh, come on. Okay, and now after he's taunted, I can start doing this and buffing myself. By the way, the, the shield buff doesn't really matter uh, for the two Dark Sylphids, because as you know, they do damage, like they have fixed damage, okay? But now since someone is low, they already do this uh, heal. And as you see, we are going for the boss directly. Oh. I had to reset the boss, so now I will have to heal Amon and boost my attack bar to be able to steal the turn with Amon and try to taunt him, but it failed. And Barretta won't steal the turn, so we might have some problems here. Or not. <laughs> okay, even if he did the third skill, we were on full HP, he would recover some HP and we'd do the same again, okay? It was all because of a mistake. Uh, so if you avoid uh, this and you reset directly on time, you wouldn't have any problems, okay? So uh, now let's move on and check the next uh, stage that we'll do today. Okay guys, so stage uh, 54, this is uh, the lineup, same lineup as stage 50. 
as I said, if you have problems with uh, like fusing uh, Vermos, just use Economia. And even here, you don't really need Economia because you don't need a clean, so you can use Bernard instead of uh, of Vermos. Okay. So you shouldn't have any problem to to do this if you have Bernard instead of Vermos. Like mainly the the things that makes this line lineup so good as a farmable lineup is that you have Beretta as a damage dealer and he is tanky also for sure damage dealer from the dots and you have too much heals from Amon on each turn and you have uh, more heals from Bella if Amon fails to out heal some damage for example okay so uh, in my opinion this is one of the best lineups that uh, would work for for many uh, stages here you shouldn't uh, buff for sure uh, unless Soha does uh, the thing or you taunt her like this like if I had the defense and attack buff now I would buff it because I would like I know that I would kill this one before she moves and I would still kill the other one or taunt her like this before uh, she also moves but my cooldown wasn't already settled and this is something so good okay like uh, it's good that it happened because I forgot to reset my skills because I know my, my runes on this stage is better for sure like my runes will be better than yours for this stage for sure if you are stuck on it so you don't have the same difficulties I am facing okay for sure you are facing more uh, like the stage is harder for you than me so you have to reset your skills before you go to each round okay and here you will just keep uh, like supporting Barretta and Barretta will be able to uh, kill everyone with his dots okay so uh, we still taunt this guy but it didn't work I noticed that each time I say we will taunt this guy it doesn't work I don't know why let's armor above this one oh okay so you see this one buffed himself so we you shouldn't hit him at all let him move and let's focus on other guys until uh, this buff goes or we can seize it oh, we failed even to see so it's better to go for the others until he finishes buff okay and you see already like the damage from uh, from Beretta isn't too much so they don't reflect like the real damage from Beretta isn't too much so they don't reflect too much damage on him and they still take too much damage from the dots so it's so good to, to use Beretta on this stage, okay? Okay, this guy... Oh, they have this and your annoying buff. So, we see this guy, we do this. Normally, yeah, we had to see the guy with longer uh, cooldown because this left one would move anyway. But it's okay. We will just have to spend some time here until Bella get the seize or the guy move twice i guess bella will seize before come on just seize it oh fuck resistance <laughs> by the way my, my bella has 80 percent accuracy or something like this i don't know why this is not happening anyway so this is how i do stage 54 and now let's move on and check uh, the next stage that we will do today Okay guys, so stage 60, I am still using the same lineup. I wanted to change for uh, Jojo, because Jojo works better here, but uh, I will try to do to do it twice, like once with Shannon and once with uh, Jojo. This way you will have different lineups to use if you don't have, for example, uh, any of those units. Like I will try to go with... Uh, the same lineup and remove Vermos because I know not everyone has Vermos so maybe I, I will just remove Vermos and go with Jojo this way if you have a bomber it doesn't have to be Jojo like Jojo is better for sure because he has elemental advantage over the, the monkey kings on the boss stage but still any bomber would work like when it was on stage 90 I did it with Malaka and she has uh, an elemental disadvantage against those guys already but it still works because you know that bombs doesn't um, like aren't counted as a real attack so when you uh, put bombs on them 
they will never counter attack you okay so uh, I will just do it uh, this way and I will show you the boss stage with uh, Jojo so that you can uh, do it if you have any bomb and now let's uh, move on and check what we got here okay so here I will go for uh, the dark guys first because they have some planes and like if I leave the dots on them they will cleanse themselves for for no reason okay so and I want it to be as fast as possible for sure because I have uh, many stages to do so I will just go for those guys first and you should be doing the same actually because like uh, your beta should be tanking them with like uh, the sigmas without problem and you you for sure want to end the, the stage uh, fast also so just go for those guys first before they keep killing themselves and then you will be able to kill uh, sigmas easy okay already if it's with the bomber it will be like really easy to to do I am not sure if uh, I should be resetting my skills so I won't hit this guy with armor debuff I will hit other one this way I do less damage okay Never mind, I will go <laughs> back to him because uh, Vermos proc violent and uh, she has her stun now. So we will be able to stun on turn one. Perfect. So what you have to do here is killing the uh, those ones first because they just counter attack and stun at the same time, like. Uh, the light ones they just counter attack but those ones they can counter attack and stun you at the same time which is really bad okay and we will keep this guy uh, down so that he doesn't heal or do any shit we will taunt him oh god i wanted to taunt him so that he doesn't heal but uh, most probably he will be healing now so we have no choice we will have to uh, kill the guy again No, he didn't heal Okay <laughs> But anyway if he healed we would just keep focusing the same guy again until we kill him, okay? Okay, so he moved again and I guess we can kill this uh, This dark guy, I'm not sure. Uh, sorry. I mean the, the wind guy uh, maybe if I boost my... Mm, not really. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. He will heal him anyway, so... It doesn't matter. I will keep the turbulence because it's useless to, to reset the, the AA now, like... He's still focusing Vermos. So... Normally it's no problem. And I will let the monkey move so that he uh, loses some HP. Okay. Uh, I know that uh, the AA can't heal now, so I will just armor the buff other guy and they won't kill the monkey king. I will let him uh, die all alone. And now I need to buff and Bella to heal. Okay, I can reset him. Oh, fuck. It doesn't work anyway. We didn't really need the reset that much, and already it didn't work, so it's okay. And we dotted... Okay, everyone is dead now. So once we kill... Mainly once we kill the Monkey Kings, you shouldn't have problem at all with anything else. And for this guy, normally with uh, Amen, even if you don't have enough damage, your Dunes doesn't really make that much damage on the guy. Amen and... Like, you have this taunt, okay, and you have uh, the heal, uh, sorry, the attack speed uh, debuff from Shannon, and you have the turbulence from Beretta. So, you should be able, to, whether to taunt this guy or to uh, reset him before he uses uh, the heal. Okay, so, uh, we need, I will boost my attack uh, bar, actually. To, uh, come on, let Shanna move. Okay. I didn't taunt, but I can reset. Okay. 
and slow. This way he is dead and he will never be able to heal, okay? Okay guys, so uh, this is the round that has Jojo as I said without Vermos. We got kind of fucked up because now the spare uh, procs. But we got uh, 5 bombs so it's okay and you saw for sure none of them countered attack on the bombs. Now we will have to buff ourselves because we need to just sustain until uh, those guys are exploding from bombs. Oh, he, d he resisted the fuck. He resisted the stun of the bomb, which is so fucked up. Let's reset this guy. This way, uh, I kill. Okay, he will never focus Jojo, so I don't need to taunt him. I, I had to taunt the light guy, the middle light guy, because you saw he uh, countered attack. So that's kind of annoying, but uh, we got this, we got this. Bombs will be up by next turn. and. We shouldn't have any problem at all because as I said you see none of them is focusing uh, Jojo mainly unless he does the basic attack and uh, do anything on them but you see now the bombs uh, like work it on them without a problem at all and nothing happened uh, he didn't uh, like they didn't counter attack or do anything now they might because I did this hit and now they are dead and we are left with three guys and with this guy but the good thing about uh, Jojo here is that he has the heal block that will land someday <laughs> this way this guy shouldn't be able to, to heal himself okay I guess it's on the right time okay he <laughs> He failed it as you see. This way. Oh fuck. Come on. You saw the resistance is so bad. Even saw so that this guy has 85% uh, accuracy or 80% accuracy and already he gets 50% on bombs which means this has 50% accuracy uh, like uh, sorry 100% accuracy on uh, the bombs and still I get resisted. Anyway, also if you have immunity on this stage, it would be so good to use it. Like instead of Vermos, for example, uh, you might use, uh, let's say, Draco as a farmable unit if you farm him from uh, from the Hall of Heroes. It would be so good. And as you see, the heal block from uh, Jojo is so good on this stage. He failed to heal twice, and. <laughs> I failed to put the bombs twice, but it's okay. Okay, we don't need to reset now. Oh, we can reset now actually, because he was supposed to move. He will always counter attack because you see, he counter attacks the enemy when any of the allies or himself is counter, like is hit by. Uh, critical hit and for sure Amin will always uh, do critical hits but you will always be healing more than the counter attack damage okay and this is how you do it with Jojo you might lose some units as you saw we lost some units but still you will be able to do it because mainly you you left like you were supporting all the other units, were supporting Beretta and Jojo to survive because they are the main damage dealers, okay? So now let's move on and check uh, the units real quick. So these are the stats of Beretta. I will just go uh, so fast on them and uh, you can pause the video and check them if you wanna. These are the stats of uh, Jojo. Okay, full attack percent for sure. These are the stats of Amon. 
okay and uh, Bella uh, speed HP and accuracy as you see 73% accuracy which is kind of considered as too much so I don't know how they resist that much anyway uh, you need to see Shannon also the squishy frag it up Shannon okay so these are uh, the stats of the unit and uh, and I guess uh, that's all for today so thanks for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel to get all my new videos feel free to hit the like or the dislike button according to what you felt while watching the videos just please if you hit the dislike button just drop me a comment and tell me uh, if I need to do something to improve my videos or to make you enjoy the videos next time give me some suggestions because as you know like um, mainly my channel is uh, PvE based and I do just some summons from time to time I do Guild Wars so let me know what you think about the Guild War videos about the summoning videos if I need to do more of this or more of this and for sure I will uh, take your opinion and consideration and I will try uh, to improve and make more things that pleases you guys okay so i guess that's all uh, thanks in advance and until the next video bye